Hey, what is going on? T-Slays here, and today I have a video for you on GTA Online. Today I'm going to be showing you two of the coolest paint jobs, in my opinion, at Los Santos Customs. But before we get into the video, I have a quick little announcement to make. I had a video of mine uploaded to a community channel called Warped Gamers, and they were kind enough to let me upload one of my videos over there. So I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description. If you could go over there and support it, uh, view it, leave a like, comment, whatever, I would really appreciate it. It would really help my channel grow, I feel. And uh, there's a lot of cool content over there. There. There's a large variety of content, large variety of games uploaded, so there's kind of something for everyone, so maybe you'll find a cool channel that you enjoy too while you're over there. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description, so if you could go over there and support it, I would really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright, we are here at Los Santos Customs, and I'm going to show you how to get this adder to the blue color that I had there in the intro. And uh, I really like this color. I have a whole garage themed with this color, so I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Respray, and then go down to Metallic, and you're going to find the Midnight Blue color, and change it to Midnight Blue. Get rid of that ugly cream color that I had changed it to. And then for pearlescent, you're going to go down here to pearlescent, and you are going to change this to ultra blue, which I believe is up here. Nope, never mind, I was wrong. Down here. Ultra blue. And there is the adder with pearlescent ultra blue and midnight blue for the primary. And then for secondary, it doesn't really matter, but I like the ice white on this. Anyways, I'm going to go show you how to get the other color. I'm back at Los Santos Customs with my Zentoro, and I'm going to be showing you how to get it to that gold color that I had in the intro. So what you're going to want to do for the Zentoro is you are going to want to go to Respray, and then you're going to go Primary Color, Metallic, and you are going to go to Chocolate Brown. And I know this may seem a little weird, but it actually turns out really good, with, and it comes out to be this uh, gold color. And then you're going to go to Pearlescent, and you're going to change this to Race Yellow. And uh, where's that at? It's up here. And voila, there you go. You got a gold car now. And then for secondary, I prefer chrome, but you can do whatever you want. I really like the chrome with the Zentoro here. So I'm going to go ahead and put chrome on that. And then if you want to make the rims match, you can go down here to wheels and go to wheel color and set this to bronze. And it looks really cool. Not gold. You want bronze. Where's bronze at? Either one looks okay, but I like the bronze better with the uh, car's color. So, yeah, there you go. This is how you get these in Toro to be a gold color, or any car, I guess, for that matter. But that's how you get a gold color, because the actual gold color in this game doesn't actually look like a very good gold. It's just kind of like a gold color. It doesn't actually look like gold, but this looks a lot like actual gold. So, I really like the way this looks. So, I hope you enjoyed these two paint jobs that I just showed you, and I hope you uh, put them to use and enjoy them. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a later video. Goodbye.